Okay, how about this? Mountain Dew and Viper Keys to start out the day. First thing in the morning, Viper, grab my Viper Keys, I grab my Mountain Dew, quite possibly the trashiest thing I've ever done. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We are up and at it bright and early. Beautiful day, rained last night, but it's currently about 80 degrees already. Feeling like summer and we're about to hop in the Viper Take it over to PDW and start the teardown on the 2020 High Country Duramax. So if you were one of those folks who wanted to see a virtually brand new truck get torn apart, uh, well, you're in luck. I don't care. I bought it for <laughs> this reason. Actually way better because I can watch it get broken down and not like cry about it or worry about it you know it's totally fine and i can enjoy the whole process oh yeah we're about to wake them all up <laughs> okay all right all right all right might have been a little much might have been a bit much there i don't want to be uh pulled over already today maybe later on that'd be all right but not not this early the viper is you know becoming one of my favorite cars i've ever owned it really it's the shifter that's what it is it's the fact that it's an old school manual you know it's na it's such a linear like power band um and the shifter is so perfect it's, it's like the notchiest just butter and it, the, the throw is so small look at like okay four or five that's it it's so nice the ride could be a little better now but but um that's fine i do live in an area you know i live in pa we're not in california we're not in texas so the roads here are bad i know it kind of bounces around a lot on camera um but keep in mind i live in a place that has horrible roads That's nice. Here we go. Whoa. A little wet out. Like I said, I live in PA. You got like a tractor just rolling down. Just, you know, tractor at a stoplight. Totally normal. Nobody cares. It's also Shane's B-Day. So if you feel like wishing him a happy birthday, head over to the PDW Instagram. I think he's turning like 75 or something like that. Okay. All right. All right. Here he goes. Yeah, everyone talk about the POV hat. Here we go. Dude, you can see right through it. <laughs> well, by the way, happy birthday. Thanks, buddy. I told him, I was like, what are you turning like 75 now? <laughs> I gotta come over here and help you. I want a discount. Oh, is that the yeah, I want to see that reflected in my labor bill later on. Minus 20 minutes for when Mike came over and helped. What are we doing? What are we even doing? What are you doing? Uh, give me an eight millimeter. You can keep the wheels. I don't want the wheels. I don't have a shutter. <laughs> Nobody has shutters. Except for the cool people. Well, I mean, I don't know about that. Like, no, a hundred bucks. Are you out of your mind, I Justin? Two hundred for the tires. Two hundred dollars for tires. You, are you crazy? No, I'm not. Brand new tires. They're freaking brand new. I don't know about that. 500 it's bucks. Miles on it. It's got 13,000 miles. All right, 300, 300 cash. 1,000 cash if you want the wheels and the tires. See, I just want the tires. That's a good deal. Justin, tell him that's a good deal. Set the trash cans up. <laughs> Where are we putting it, Shane? Jiminy crickets. The crickets, the Jiminy. Wow. I just busted my That's how you get your ball. ball up. Oh, no, you no, just... No, no, you don't set it up. Come on now. What do you do with it? It's your first you time. Pull it, pull it. Oh, there you go. It's pretty dope, dude. You oh, hold a trailer might be scary. Just... Dude, I know how to drive. I don't know how it works, <laughs> but I can drive. You gotta have all the wiring. This is wild. Get done. Huh? Caliber's gotta come off. The brake lines. The we all hanging off the frame. Huh? You can put it around. I don't care if you put it over there. This all has to be hung. We gotta get rid of all this. Oh, car. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for it. Oh, here he is. <laughs> what are you doing? What, what kind of brakes you got? 
Gotta... Aren't you supposed to be still asleep? This all has to get dropped. It's all going to be dropped on air ride. We, we have to get rid of all this. These springs, these all this comes out. So you got to cut this off, don't you, Shane? These here, these bump stops, I have to cut them off everything. She goes, boys. Didn't take long. Coming apart right now. Freaking crazy. Drive shaft. Yeah, we got to. What do we got to do? Once it's lifted, we got to measure it and make sure we got the slip. If we don't, you got to add like two inches to it, I think. Okay. What we do is take it off. They'll cut each yoke off. They'll make a whole new center section, rebalance everything. And then weld the ends on, bounce it again, put all the new U-joints in it, down the road you go. Everything you see, guys, is going to be gone. This whole, like, so traditionally, the back end of a truck, leaf springs, that's all going to be out completely. It's going to be on airbags. About an hour in, and it's looking pretty, uh, pretty torn apart so far. Front axle, whole front pumpkin comes out, everything. All that whole front has to be gone, your torsion bars, everything has to all come out. Wow. All has to be out. Drop completely I'm just gonna out. Say, I'm just really glad you're doing it, Shane. <laughs> I was over here for like five minutes the other night, and there were so many like cuts of you swearing. <laughs> it was like every well, other word. Not swearing it anymore? No, you can't. How you can't? We gotta be family friendly now. Can't do it. Can't even come over here. You can do it. Dude, maybe your Venus channel you don't want to swear on. I yeah. Yeah. But this channel, if you don't swear, it's not even channeling. You think I should just be letting F bombs it's like, it's fly? Like, it's like. Like I'll sell you them for 800, 800 bucks. <laughs> I don't need them for eight hundred. <laughs> Two fifty ninety nine. Like tires for eight hundred. They're nice. Look at them, Mike. Nobody wants Chevy wheels. Nobody. Man, they bracket enough to the freaking axles. Hey, more a lot of, just a got a lot of brackets in there, bud. A lot of brackets. Shocks coming out. There it goes. Who needs some parts? Is yeah, honestly, I'll tell you what. Hit him up on Instagram. First of all, we need to get Shane to 10K. Then he can do swipe ups. Justin, what we're gonna have to teach him how to do that. What the hell is swipe I know up? you taught him how to make the whole Instagram. What the hell is You'll swipe figure up? it out. <laughs> so get Shane to 10. He finally, five years later, he makes an Instagram. I've been telling him for five years. Let's get him to 10K so he can swipe up. What the f is swipe up? <laughs> <laughs> not over here people talking about swipe left, swipe right. No, you don't, no, you're that. not swiping left, you're swiping <laughs> up. Yes, yeah, so we need 13 to take all this off, Justin. If you want, brackets. you know, make, sh Shane can sell them and then he'll just give me whatever for it, but hit them up. There'll be a lot of parts. Shocks, wheels and tires, other things. Yeah, they got 13,000, like 800 miles on them. Yeah, not much. At least 25 hours to do this. We are only just destroying shit. We're not even putting on the good stuff. This is like the easy part. Yeah. We're like just tearing it apart. You got to figure it out. Drive shaft came have out. Have it lined up. Well, I don't want you to scratch it. I just don't want you to scratch it. Try that. Two, two, five. Look, they take stickers every day. <laughs> Bam. This is exactly why, exactly why I don't want to do this to my truck. I'd be, I'd be freaking out right now. I'd be having an actual stroke right now if this was my, my white Duramax, my custom ordered one. But this one, it's all good to go. Look at him go. Look at you go, dude. Hauling that big thing over there. Grab a hold of it. Well, there you go. Me? Yeah. You want to go to the gym? Y'all do this with one hand. <laughs> Difference between Shane and I, Mountain Dew. First of all, on the big two liter thing, sugar, zero sugar. Shane, I gotta get you on the no sugar Mountain Dew, buddy. It tastes like ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, oh, I'm gonna get iced tea. Oh, I'll just get the diet iced tea. It tastes better. No, it does. Put those off too? You leave those. We'll have to look here. I wanna get the bracket up and see. Gotcha. The front one I use for the trailing arms down to the axle. Yeah, these might get all cut off, but the front ones we need because the trailing arms come back here to the brackets to hold the axle from going forward or back. Sounds great. So, now we go ahead and get the big box open, start pulling goodies out of it, and we need to get the big brackets here for the side of the frames, and the brackets for the axles. So are you going to do the back end first and then do the front? Yep. Like two pieces? Gotcha. Starting to lay out the pieces from the Kelderman kit and the more pieces you grab, you start to understand why the price is where it's at. I mean, the quality of the stuff is ridiculous. Like these drop brackets are insane. 
but also just the sheer volume of everything. We've been pulling parts out now for like 10 minutes and we're about halfway through the box. Uh, I mean, just every, the more you go, the more stuff you find. This looks like the bracket where the airbag sits, but I mean, it's all, I mean, it is ridiculously heavy stuff. I mean, look at the welds and the powder coating. So it's really good. It, it's 100% worth the money. There's no doubt. It's just, it's not your average like, oh, buy a lift kit and, you know, bolt it on. It's it, it's a little bit more than that. We're up to 2,800 2,800, okay. Plate for the bag to sit on. Yep. There's two plates for the bag to sit on. This is crazy. <laughs> I know you've done a lot of lift kits, but this is like extensive. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen so many pieces. And you look at the pieces, like, this is the most heavy duty freaking yeah. drop right. This thing weighs about so 50 tell, pounds. If you want, if you got the money and want to spend the money, for one of the top lifts that there is for manufacturers is Kelderman's where it's at. Yeah, I mean, it's ridiculous. There, there, there's no joke about that. Like, Kelderman is one of the top. Well, we're, we're doing it. You've been telling me I mean, for years to get how one. Big the drop bracket is. I was, I was just gonna say, I was like, if That's you want, for, for yeah, hub to keep it all the same. If you want a representation of how big this <laughs> lift kit is, look at you know the difference in height. So the stock knuckle would be like here, yeah. and we're talking about all the way up. I mean, it's crazy how big, and that's a drop bracket, so the diff would normally sit, the brackets for the diff would be up here, they're now all the way down here. Yep. I mean, that's it's- an like your, your brackets, all that stuff, like it's all, it's all there. Like, it's a massive project. <laughs> it's, it's, we're not even it's, it's, started on the front. I'm glad like you're doing it. cutting and, and moving shit and dropping everything, taking the whole whack, whole pumpkins out, coming out, everything has to come out the front. That's so freaking wild. And, and you, look, you, look at your new sway bar for the yeah, rear. Big sway bar in there. That's for the rear. And you mount the tank where the spare tire is, right? Like yeah, up we'll in mount here. mount that up in here and everything else. Cause well, the only point counter spare tire in this truck with them. Yeah, I'll just, we'll have to get a full size spare. <laughs> oh, oh, you're gonna go buy a 38 inch tire? Yeah, we'll just get a 38 inch what, tire. Put it in the bed? Yeah, throw it on well, the bed. Get a headache rack with a whole I should. We should get another rack and put a 38 on the back, chase rack style. That'd be sick. The two bumpers on to sit there on the floor. Put a rack. I was on gonna there say you, spare tire. you're doing the bumpers. Yeah. Bumpers going on. I think that'll look really good, all well, black. I think you need to contact Fab Four and see if they've got a rack for it. They'll Maybe hold they, that tire. they might make that'll hold up 150 pound, 150 pound tire. Well, I hope you enjoyed this upload, kind of bringing it back like a little old school, you know, showing the tear down. I realized that lately it's been like so busy on the channel when something gets done to like the truck or the car, I usually drop it off and then I just pick it back up again. And you know, I don't really film the process. Now, a couple of years ago, I used to, I, I spent a lot of time, used to spend a lot of time in Shane's shop and uh, it's fun. We have a blast. I can't even put some of the stuff on camera because um, we may, you know, say inappropriate things and swear a lot, but it's a lot of fun. And it was fun being back in the shop. Um, but I do have some updated pictures for you that I'm probably gonna overlay here or maybe just put them in. Uh, but the truck lift is coming coming along really well. Now today is Saturday, uh, tomorrow's Sunday. Shane and the crew won't be working. Monday, they'll be back. So they're actually looking optimistically to have the truck done by Monday night. You know, they're really cranking it out. As you can see, um, you know, just today, the tear down, and then they got everything done by the end of today, pretty much in the back. Now they still have to, uh, put the bed back on and kind of mount the tank and do all that kind of stuff. So it's not, it might look pretty close to done, but there is still a lot of work there, like a lot of little stuff, like the wiring and all that, which does take some time, but they are really working through it. And then they'll start on the front of the truck, which is a little bit, I don't want to say easier because I don't want to minimize anything that they do. You know, I, I, from what I am able to accomplish mechanically, I'm not going to say it's easy, but it is like, easier for them to do the front. The front is a little bit more traditional, just kind of like um, a little bit of frame modification, drop brackets, um, steering knuckles, all that stuff, and then truck goes back together. The back is definitely the bigger part. The back is where they are 
essentially building a new truck. Like the rear end is kind of, the only thing that's really the same is the frame itself. Like leaf springs are gone, everything is gone, everything connected to that, completely gone. Um, and then, you know, a whole new setup is bolted on and welded on in different places. So the back is wild and it's gonna be full adjustable air ride. So you can literally press a button, the truck will go up or down. Um, it's gonna be great for towing, hauling loads, everything. It's a really great system, but I wanted to really, if I was gonna show one thing, one build, I would pick this one because, and show you kind of behind the scenes because this one is so extensive. And it's one of those things where you wouldn't really understand it unless you look. Like you think, oh, you're putting a lift kit on a truck. You can do that at home in the garage, no big deal. This is not <laughs> not quite like any other lift kit I've done. Even the one on my 05 was like a pretty, you know, it was a Cognito um, 10 inch lift, pretty good system. But even that was like simple compared to this. This is like totally freaking building a new truck, but it, it's gonna be worth it, gonna be really cool. I'm glad it's not my white truck out there. I'm glad that I didn't have to watch my white truck get torn apart. And that's precisely, I think now you guys might understand exactly why I didn't wanna do this to that truck yet. If this one turns out as good as I think it will, maybe I will do it to that one because, I mean, it's a, it's a great, the kit is incredible, but it's going to be big as well. And I don't think, and I'm sure, you see the picture there of the 38 on the truck and it looks big and it looks like it's sticking out, but trust me, you don't know how big it's gonna be until you see it done. So I hope you enjoyed, I'll stop rambling on, but I hope you enjoyed this upload. It should be done on Monday and ZR1 will be back on Monday as well. So I don't know what the next upload is gonna be. It could be truck or ZR1, either way, we'll have a good time. If you enjoyed, give it a big thumbs up. Take care and have a great night.